Now to an on your side investigation. A Jacksonville family still mourning the loss of their pet is now the victim of a pet adoption scheme. And now they found the so-called pet adoption agency on Facebook. Now it claimed it was in North Carolina, but did not give a physical address. So on your side's Ken Amaro did some digging and he found that the agency is not in North Carolina and it could be anywhere. Here's Ken Amaro with tonight's Consumer Alert. Buddy was her ride and die friend for a long time. I had Buddy, sorry, for 16 years and uh, Ooh, goodness, I'm sorry. I lost him a year and a half ago. You have his ashes that you keep with you. I do. In August, Tammy Muller found the Facebook page of Pet Rescue North Carolina. She thought she was ready for a new pet. I've been saving money in a shoebox so that I could get one. She eventually engaged in a text conversation with the person behind the keyboard, a conversation she now regrets. They wanted $200 if you picked it up. 400 if you had it delivered and so I was going to get two of them delivered so I agreed to put $400 deposit down. Muller says after Hurricane Dorian passed the so-called rescue demanded more money to cover vaccinations. They told me no that I had to send the money or I was not going to get my puppies. Pet Rescue told her it would refund her money then it refused. But now they've blocked me. <laughs> On your side call, they told us Pet Rescue North Carolina relocated to Tucson, Arizona. They offered to sell one of their puppies for $350 if we could send half of the money right away. But in both North Carolina and Arizona, there are no state records of Pet Rescue NC. I've been angry, I've been sad, I've been disappointed. Muller is filing a complaint with the Federal Trade Commission. Three things to do to avoid a pet adoption scheme. If the seller is in another state, avoid it. Avoid high pressure pitches. Also, if you're convinced it's legit, use a credit card in case you need to dispute the charges. At this point, I just don't want anybody else to get suckered in. Canamero, First Coast News, on your side.